Hello everyone! In today's video, I'm going to show you a brief comparison of Tail Scale and Zero Tier. Now you can access these two popular software defined networking solution by just typing in Tail Scale or Zero Tier on your browser, whether that's on your mobile or your computer. Now in this video, we're going to be comparing both of these SDN solutions based on six factors, which are purpose, key features, what they're best for, pricing, ease of use, and integrations and self-hosting. So without further ado, let's dive right in, starting with TailScale. Now, TailScale's purpose is basically that it's a zero-config peer-to-peer VPN built on WireGuard designed for ease of use, security, and seamless integration with existing identity management systems. As for Zero Tier, it's a virtual networking platform that creates LAN-like private networks over the internet, offering flexibility for complex network setups beyond just VPN functionality. So going over the key features of TailScale, we have uh, the fact that it uses WireGuard for encryption and security. They also have a seamless NAT traversal and automatic peer discovery. And of course, it integrates with identity providers like Google, Microsoft, or Okta for authentication. It's also easy to set up with minimal configuration, and it is focused on security and simplicity. As for Zero Tier, it functions as a hybrid VPN and SD1 solution. It also allows custom network topologies such as LAN, VLANs, and mesh networking. Now, it also works on Layer 2, which is Ethernet emulation, and Layer 3, which is IP routing. It provides self-hosting options and on-prem deployment, and it can also operate without a central coordination server. So you can see here the SD1 and VPN aspect of Zero Tier. Now, what exactly is uh, TailScale best for? So TailScale is best for individuals, small teams, and businesses looking for an easy-to-use, secure VPN for remote access and private networking. Now, as for Zero Tier, it's best for advanced users and businesses needing custom virtual networks, remote access, and LAN emulation for more complex setups. So right over there, now we're going to try and check the difference between pricing for both of these uh, tools. Starting with tail scale, they should have their pricing right over here. And let's check out zero tier. All right, so as you can see, you have the personal and business option for tail scale. If you're only using it for personal, it's free, as you can see. And these are the inclusions for business. The starter is $6 per active user per month, and these are the inclusions. There are also some optional add-ons right here, as well as cloud marketplaces. All right, so for zero tier, you have the basic or free version, which is, again, uh, this is limited, and these are uh, the inclusions. You have the essential for $5 per month and additional $2 per device. There's also a free trial. And there's also the premium version, which is $250 per month. And it's discounted per device pricing. You can also have a custom quote right here. If there's any uh, specific inclusions you need to ask for, then uh, this is uh, best for you. And uh, after they get in touch with you, then you will get your custom pricing. Now, when it comes to ease of use, TailScale is extremely easy to set up thanks to its identity-based authentication and automatic peer discovery. Whereas Zero Tier is more technical and flexible, requiring additional setup for advanced configurations. Now, lastly, for integration and self-hosting, TailScale uses TailScale's central coordination servers which is closed source but secure and it offers a self-hosted option with tail scale funnel and tail scale enterprise as for zero tier 
It's fully open source with self-hosting options allowing for more customization and decentralization. Now in summary, you should choose Tailscale if you want an easy to use secure VPN with WireGuard encryption, seamless identity based access and minimal setup. Now, if you need custom virtual networks, LAN-like connectivity, or more control over network topology, then you better choose Zero Tier. And that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.